All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. My name is Atlas. I'm a relationship coach. And today I want to talk about the importance of setting up date night as a non-negotiable part of your relationship. As time has passed in all of the relationships that I have been in, I have recognized that one of the biggest factors in determining how well the relationship was operating was determined by a weekly or a frequent date night. So in my current relationship, we have made that a non-negotiable. I actually think we've set it out to be Saturday nights. But prior to that, I wasn't really heavily invested in this idea of a date night. Now, we all know that date night is important. We know that we should be doing it. So in my past relationships, when I would go on a date night, it wasn't really with the intention of setting up my relationship for success. It was just because I was under the impression that this was going to help. So we'd go out for dinner or we'd go try and do something fun and maybe we'd fight or we'd argue or it just wouldn't really be that enjoyable. And one thing I definitely know wasn't happening was we weren't really talking very deeply about our relationship or really about our lives. Sometimes there was actually silent dates and that never really brought us closer together. So in this relationship, I've prioritized it tenfold to make sure that my partner Gabby and I are always having frequent date nights at least once a week. So I wanna share with you five reasons why I passionately believe that we need in our relationships to make date night, once a week, a non-negotiable. And the first one might sound very obvious is it ensures that you and your partner are aligned. Anytime me and my partner miss our weekly date night, we notice that things are less aligned. There is less of a harmonious state in our relationship. We find ourselves in disharmony more frequently And it's more challenging for us to get back into a state of harmony because we aren't creating or we are not spending this time on our weekly date night for an hour or two hours talking, getting back on the same page, investing our time into connection. And date night, just as a reminder, does not need to be something big. For us, it's often just going out for a drink or having coffee or lunch or something that is time spent together in a very intentional way. So you could even call it date coffee or date lunch. It doesn't matter. The point of this is to ensure that you are finding the time together to get aligned and to stay aligned. I know for us and for all the clients that I've worked with, one of the number one reasons why relationships are not going the way they want them to is because they are on completely different pages. They don't have a sense of where each other is going and they don't have a sense of where the relationship is going. So we implement date night. So that's the number one reason why I think we need have date nights. Number two, I've aired to this already, but it gives you intentional time together outside of your normal day-to-day routine. Sometimes I think we get confused with spending time around somebody rather than spending time with somebody. So if you live in the same household or you have routines that are constantly around each other, Gabby and I, for example, both work from home. And so we are around each other a lot. But how often we are actually with each other during that time is not so much as frequent. We don't spend the present time, the focused time, the intentional time with each other. We're just around doing the same things or doing our own thing in the same space. So this number two is actually for me a great way to debunk the idea that you don't need date night because you spend time together. I would encourage you to reflect on the time you are actually spending together and notice if it feels like it's intentional, if it feels like you are getting the growth of your relationship, you are getting the fulfillment of the relationship from these conversations. And how long do these time together moments pass? Is it a quick passing? Is it a short moment? Is it long? Because if it is long, then maybe you do have that setup of date night or date time in your relationship. So then you don't need to make it such a scheduled priority. But for me and for my life and for every single client I've worked with, uh, there is a trend that 
date time is not common, which means we need to implement a date night again, or a date afternoon or a date coffee, something along those lines. So, so far we have, it keeps you aligned and it gives you intentional time together outside of your routine. The third one from my standpoint is that creating a weekly date night actually creates safety and security in the relationship because it shows that both of you are invested in each other. I'm invested in you. You're invested in me. We are showing that by prioritizing and also showing up for this weekly date night. Even if we're tired, even if we're not feeling it, we commit to this because we commit to each other and we commit to the growth of where this is going. And we also commit to ensuring that we both feel considered and prioritized. And that date night really helps us reinforce that. Again, which also helps us stay aligned on the truth that we are both committed to this relationship. So it creates safety, creates security, and it ensures that we are both cared and valued because we're giving each other that intentional time. Number four, it provides you with the space, the intentional space to talk about the things that you may not otherwise talk about. In the day-to-day -day routine, especially as relationships prolong, they are together for longer, the deeper conversations sometimes fall to the wayside. We end up just getting lost in talking about the to-do list, the routines, the things that need to get done. What we're not talking about as often is our relationship. Maybe it's sex that we need to have a conversation about. Maybe it's money. Maybe it's, hey, is, does your love tank feel full? Do you feel loved by me? Hey, how do you feel I'm loving you with your specific love language? Are you feeling loved by me? This is an example of how we would utilize date night as a relationship check-in. How are things going for us? How are they going for you as an individual? And then you can also extend that into personal life. How are you enjoying it? As, uh, your life, your business, your personal friends and family, how are you navigating that? Is there something I can support you with? Is there a way we could team approach these things? Having those deep conversations more intentionally once a week maintains that alignment, maintains that connection, and it actually brings you two closer together, which can create desire and sexual polarity. But I don't want you to just consider the fact that when you go and have this intentional time that you need to talk so intensely every time about your relationship. What I'm encouraging is that you still do, whether it's a bi-weekly check-in or a monthly check-in. But even if you just go on the date night or date lunch or date coffee, hell, you could talk about the stars. You could talk about culture. You could talk about 20 years down the road. You could talk about anything. The point is just to simply have conversations together in an intentional way outside of your regular mundane conversations. That gives you the ability to connect on a deeper level, to continue to get to know each other and know that you are choosing this space. And number five, and this one I think is something that we miss, is it gives us a chance to actually enjoy each other and enjoy the relationship. There's so much content out there these days that is telling us that relationships are here for our growth and that they are here to mirror back to us all of the ways in which we could be better. And I agree with all of it, but I think we're starting to stray away from the idea and the truth that relationships are an opportunity for us to amplify life, amplify the joy, amplify the love, amplify the fulfillment and the excitement. They're here to amplify so much of our experience. This is what sharing experiences with our partner or other people offers us. So when we have this intentional date night, we can also consider it as our way of having fun and enjoying each other, enjoying what my partner has to say, enjoying the things that they're sharing with me, enjoying the time, enjoying the connection, maybe enjoying the sex that might come afterwards, spending more time intentionally enjoying each other and the relationship. And that for me has changed everything. If this was a no prioritized order, but I would consider the last one to probably be one of the more important ones is enjoying each other again. 
because we lose that in the mundaneness and the day-to-day -day routine. So why I believe that it's so important to make this a non-negotiable is because it gives us a chance to enjoy it again, to enjoy the relationship, to enjoy our partner, and to enjoy our time together. So those are the five reasons why I believe passionately that we need to set up date night as a non-negotiable every week in our relationships. It helps us so much. And I think that for me, it's just, it's a no-brainer. There are way too many positives, way too many opportunities that we miss by not taking two hours out of our week to get it done. It changes everything, I promise you. So set it up for us. It's Saturday night. If we can't get it done, we pivot. But I highly encourage you to take away from this video is to go to your partner and set this up with them. Men, this is a great way to show leadership. But I would encourage, it doesn't matter who you're watching or who's watching, to set it up, go to your partner, have a conversation. And you don't need to make it intense. Just set it up. Hey, I really want to go on a date night. I'd actually really love if we could set this up as something more consistent. Is there a day that you're usually free? And just have that conversation, get connected, set it up and practice, right? Some weeks, maybe it doesn't work on the day that you planned. That's okay. Give it a try. And I promise you, your time will be well spent. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and leave a comment below. What is something else that you find you value in weekly date nights with your partner? Is there another system that you have that you find really works for you? Drop it in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you, and I'll see you in the next video.